Have you ever wondered what's inside an arc welder? If not, then go view something else. If you have though, this is the video for you. Today I'm going to show you what's inside this Firm Concept 210, 210 amp arc welder. Now of course you will get people who say, Oh my god, he doesn't even know what's inside an arc welder. What a total noob! People like that, they're just arrogant, elitist trolls and best ignored. Just like everyone else does, including the ones they think of as friends. Anyway, first of all I'll give you a quick rundown on what's on the outside. On the bottom left we have the mains input cable, which can be 230 or 400 volts. Bottom right we have the grounding electrode, which you connect to the item being welded. Top right we have the welding electrode. Top left we have the on-off selector switch, which has two voltage ratings, depending on whether you're going to connect it to a 230 or 400 volt supply. In the middle we have a large hand wheel for adjusting the welding current. And on the top a sliding indicator which shows what, that's, what that welding current is set to. A small screw is fitted at the front of the on-off switch, so you can only select whichever voltage you've got it wired for. If you remove this screw and move it to the other side, you can use it as a 400 volt welder instead. But as you can see at the moment, it doesn't want to go there. Only on the 230. That's enough about the outside. Let's see what's inside. As it turns out, not very much. Obviously you've got the large welding transformer in the middle. Just behind it then we have a 240 volt cooling fan. The other side of the transformer you have this slotted piece which controls the welding current. I'll show you more about that in a second. There's the 240 and 400 volt selector switch. That's the back of the thermal cutout trip indicator. On the back of the transformer we have the thermal cutout. And then finally we have the welding output cables. The two laminated steel bars sticking out of the side of the transformer are what control the welding current. At the moment they are fully retracted out of the transformer and it's running at maximum current. However, if I turn the hand wheel, it drives them further into the transformer and that is what turns the maximum welding current down. One possibly interesting thing about the design of this welder is that the fan is a 230 volt even though the welder is capable of running on 400 volts. Now you'd think, well how are they doing that? Well it's simple. The fan is connected directly across the 230 volt winding on the transformer. So if you're running it at 230 volts, it's just connected straight to the mains. If however you're running this on a 400 volt supply, the fan can't take it, and in fact it's not even connected to it. But yet, when you run it on that, it still runs. That's because the transformer is acting as a transformer. The mains is connected on the 400 volt winding, the fan is still connected across the 230 volt winding, so it's acting as a 400 to 230 volt step down transformer. Quite a hefty one at that. Obviously I've only got this running on 230 volts at the moment. If it was running on 400 volts, that fan would be running at full speed, just as it does when you connect it directly. The only other possibly interesting thing inside here is the way the overload indicator works. Basically it's connected across the thermal cutout. So when the thermal cutout gets too hot and goes open circuit, the only way the power can still get through the transformer is via the neon. That will allow very, very little current to pass through, so effectively the welder's shut down. But it is enough to light the neon indicator on the front. So, 
Now you know what's inside an arc welder. Basically a big transformer, a fan, and some strange metal bits that stick into the transformer. Thank you for watching.